If you've been following my channel for a while, you know I love my M1 Mac Mini. I called it the best valued computer you can get. And actually, even to this day, it still might be. Even with the M2 Mac Minis out, if you can find a pretty cheap M1 Mac Mini, it's still a great value. But some of the complaints about the Mac Mini and Apple computers in general are the lack of ports and the inability to expand or upgrade after you purchase. In this video, I'm gonna tell you how this five-in-one Mac Mini Hub might be able to solve some of those issues. Let's get into it. Today, we're talking about the Mini Sapuru 5-in-1 Mac Mini Hub. Now, full disclosure, Mini Sapuru did reach out to me and ask me if I wanted to review this product, but they're not reviewing this video before it goes up. All my opinions are my own. My name is Patrick, and this is Everyday Tech. Everyday Tech for Everyday People. And today, we're talking about expanding and upgrading my M1 Mac Mini here. Now, you know I love my M1 Mac Mini, and similar to the M2 Mac Mini, actually, it has two USB-C Thunderbolt ports. The M2 has Thunderbolt 4. Uh, this has two USB-A ports, an HDMI port, audio out jack, the gigabit ethernet port, and you can upgrade this to a 10 gigabit ethernet port as well. Now with everything going to USB-C, I wish this Mac Mini had a few more USB-C ports, but I'm not your average Mac Mini user here. I have so many things plugged into here. I have my video capture device here. I have my audio interface, my stream deck. I have hard drives that are attached to my computer. So this is why I have a CalDigit TS3 Plus. It's a Thunderbolt 3 hub as well. But for most users, the ports that are on the Mac Mini are pretty good, but probably you probably want a little, few more ports. So this is where the five-in-one hub comes in. Now, if you look at the front of this five-in-one hub, there are actually only four ports here. So let me get to the ports that are on here first. You have two USB-C ports. These are rated at USB 3.2 at 10 gigabits of transfer speed. Now in a future video, I'm gonna go through the difference between the different kinds of USB-C connections as well. Then you have two card readers here. You have your uh, SD card reader, your micro SD card reader. So these are four ports, but why is this a five in one port? Well, at the bottom here, you have a spot for an SSD here. So I do have an SSD drive in here and I'll talk about that a little bit later in this video. The way you connect the hub to the computer is through a single USB-C cable. So once you connect this hub to your computer, you've gained one USB-C port because this is taken up, this hub is taken up one of the ports on the computer. But you've also gained two SD card readers, one regular and one micro. And most importantly to me, I've gained expanded storage. So I've put a terabyte SSD in here, which I'll get into in a moment. But also this is a Mac mini stand. So I can put this on top of my desktop so I can have the ports available. And it actually looks pretty good on your desk as well. As far as the storage is concerned, to expand the storage, you just have to pop out the magnetic cover here. Then this does support M.2 NVMe SSD drives and M.2 SATA drives at various different sizes. So I went with the Western Digital Blue Drive for one terabyte drive, and this is the SN570. As of this recording, this one terabyte drive is $55 and $99 for the two terabyte version as well. So it's a really easy way to expand your uh, storage. This did come with a thermal pad that you put over your SSD drive, and to kind of seal it up, you just kind of pop in this cutback cover and it's magnetically sealed as well. This does support up to 10 gigabits of transfer speed. And in my everyday use, I found that this internal drive here could keep up with my workflow, even with video editing. It was even faster than my Samsung T7. Not as fast as the built-in storage of the Mac Mini, but here is a comparison of all three with some speed tests here. So what do I think of the 5-in-1 hub for Mini Sapru? I think it's a great product and I would definitely recommend it for most Mac Mini users. Now for power users like me, maybe, maybe not, depends on your needs. I already have my CalDigit TS3 Plus dock here, so I have a lot of things plugged into there. I'm mainly using this as an enclosure for my NVMe SSD drive. And I know I can get an enclosure, dedicated enclosure for about half the price. 
Now for most Mac Mini users, this is a definitely a great accessory. You do get the extra USB-C port, you get the card readers, you get the ability to expand your storage, and you know it looks pretty good on your desk as a stand. Now, one thing that, about that is most of the time, most users are gonna probably put it on its side, so the Apple logo is gonna look like it's on its side as well. If you want the a Apple logo upright, then you're gonna be plugging things on the top of the Mac Mini. As far as my setup is concerned, I'm not using the stand feature of this hub because I have my Mac Mini mounted to the bottom of my desk, but I do have this plugged in and I'm using the enclosure for expanded storage. I do have one thing plugged into the USB-C port. So this has been a great accessory even for my crazy setup here for with my Mac Mini. Now, if you're not a Mac Mini owner yet and, you're not, and are thinking about buying one, here's some advice I would give to you. As far as RAM is concerned, get more RAM than you think. The base model comes with eight gigabytes. I would go with at least 16. If you think you need 24, they get 24. But as far as storage is concerned, that's a different story, especially with an accessory like this. I wouldn't expand so big. If you configure up to one terabyte of storage, that'll cost you $400, two terabytes up to $800. I paid $55 for this one terabyte drive, and I could have paid $99 for a two terabyte drive. Of course, the speed is not comparable. The built-in SSD in your Mac mini is so much faster, but I would argue most people will never get up to those speeds and the speed that you get off these drives is sufficient. Now, if you really need that, that speed, I would say run certain things off the internal SSD and then do the rest of the storage on this expanded storage here. Now, I would say most people, the sweet spot, I would say for a Mac mini is the Mac mini configuration I got here. 16 gigabytes of RAM and 512 storage with expanded storage as well. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, consider subscribing. Until the next one, see ya.